Hi guys, welcome to Krithium and Krithium Handmade. We post DIY, tutorial and product review videos on sewing, knitting, crochet, wire jewelry and more right here on our YouTube channel. So if you are interested in any of these crafts, come join us and let's make stuff together. guys welcome to Krithium handmade reviews uh, this is with, this will be our first review and it is for the Camille camera bag pattern uh, as you can see in front of the screen you will uh, this is my Camille camera bag that I have prepared using um, the pattern I will just show you the front cover of the pattern I have the PDF for it <clears throat> and uh, to tell you the finished measurements of the pattern it will be 12 uh, for the bag it will be 12.5 inches wide 8 inches tall and 5 inches deep that would be the closest measurements that you will have when you make the bag following the pattern here is the front page uh, it is by Swoon Sewing Patterns. They have their patterns up on their own website as well as on Craftsy.com. I will put the links to both these locations in the show notes description box below uh, this video. And uh, let's go ahead and see the bag. Bef uh, before that, uh, I just wanted to let you know it's a very great, uh, written pattern it has illustrations uh, really well done and um, there are about 22 pages and 16 of those are full of instructions and uh, illustrations for how to make the bag and the various parts and it's a very well written pattern this is pattern 3 of the vintage collection from Swoon Sewing Patterns so here is the bag that I have uh, sewed using the pattern. I have used uh, Burda style plastic buckles. They're very sturdy and uh, on the side as well. For this side, I didn't have the same removable buckle. So uh, I went ahead and bought that later on and I still need to add that to this side so that this long strap will become completely removable if i need if i don't want to hang it over my shoulder or crossbody it's long enough it's adjustable uh, and i can hang it over my uh, shoulder or i can do a crossbody so this is the top of the bag there is a good handle here and there's a sturdy uh, heavy stabilizer inside with uh, two wooden sticks as well and uh, this is the side as you can see I have used K facet fabrics for this one and I'm really pleased with the end result to show you the bag it has a magnetic closure here and it has a very deep pocket to uh, enable you to put your bits and bobs inside let's uh, see the inside of the bag now Uh, very pretty yellow K facet coordinating uh, fabric I have used for the inside. Um, this is my DSLR camera, extra lens. I can put, there is space for another lens which I will probably buy uh, in a few uh, weeks. Uh, my charger, enough space for my manual here, my remote, uh, lens cover, and I can put in a few more things inside so as you can see it's quite spacious and um, it turned out quite uh, pretty so there's a Camille bag and uh, I hope you like the review and let me know if you need me to do any more product or pattern reviews and if I have those things I will try them uh, if I have those patterns and products I will try them out and then I'll 
give you an honest opinion of what I think about uh, those things. So yeah, just uh, be sure to follow me, subscribe to my channel and um, like my Facebook page. We have a Facebook group, Fa uh, Kritium Makers you can come come and join that and you will get like, uh, the first sneak peeks and discounts and stuff for our etsy shop and um, we have other products uh, coming in slowly and steadily into our shops uh, as you know we have two shops one is the handmade shop kritium handmade and the other one is kritium which is full of supplies and home decor items mostly fabrics from india and um, very Indian, uh, India-centric home decorations and stuff, which will look good in any, ho any home. So please uh, be sure to check those out and let us know what you think about our products. And be sure to subscribe and like this video if, if you want to see more of such videos. Thank you.